Blessing is opening up to the love of the universe, to the love of the divine, and truly letting it in. It is the first lesson we learn as a human being, however well. We are learning that lesson when we are hugged by our mother and perhaps our father. Is a very, very first thing we come to know. It is the most important lesson, and all other lessons in our life are built on that lesson, or they're not built on a foundation that can stand. Because if we don't know that, how do we do all the rest of it? We're going to go through our life and accomplish all these wonderful things, but feel cold inside, not letting love in. Yes, we should accomplish all kinds of wonderful things, manifest wonders in the world. Yes. But on a foundation that's on something so primal in our life that often people just overlook it. They don't realize they're walking around with something closed off inside and they're trying to do great things, trying to live a happy life. But then there's something cold and vacuous inside because they're not letting love in. And I'm talking about a higher love, a universal love, about the one love, and yet it manifests in all the kinds of love that we know in our life, rightly does, in all our relationships. We can be talking, we can be working with other people, doing things, but what's happening under the surface? Rightly, every creative interaction with other people is rooted in the fire of love that's burning in the hearts of the people. What does it take to go through that process where in ourselves we have cracked open to this tremendous fire of love that's within us and it's moving through our humanity? In that sense, we are on fire. And then we come to a place of being in a state of fusion with other people. That fusion is not simply a coming together in some kind of homogeneous glob. That's not how the fusion goes for us as human beings. Our fusion is about us standing in the strength and power of who we are as a person who brings love to the world and knowing there's somebody next to us who's doing the same thing. And there's an arc of light and fire between us, a fire that is unique to any two people that is bringing the power of fusion, the power of creativity to the world in a way that's unique to those two people. And when we're doing that all together um, with the people who, who are around us, then there's something happening collectively. There's a collective power. There's a collective container, a holy city, we say. Holy city is a way of talking about a creative field of a community of people that shared together. Yes, there are walls of love, but what does that mean? Not walls of stone, walls of love, radiant love extending out. There's a brightness, a burning, a radiance extending out of this holy city. And what's happening within the walls of the holy city, within that radiance, just as there's something happening within the sun. Well, at the core of it, there's fusion going on. There's fusion going on for the for individually as we individually are fusing with that power of love at our core. We've cracked open to it and we're letting it flow. But then it's flowing between us. Nothing short of delightful, really. We're past the friction. Had enough friction in your life. <laughs> We've transcended it. 
No, we're not living there anymore. I suppose you might say there's always some kind of friction, but we, but our consciousness is above the friction. Our consciousness is, is involved in the creative fusion that we're knowing. In the arc between us and other people, the creative arc that's between us. That arc is important for all of what we're here to manifest in the world. And Sunrise Ranch is here to manifest something, for sure. Each one of us is here to manifest something in our life, something beautiful. At every level of that manifestation, the arc that we share with other people is important. Because if you haven't noticed, you can do practically nothing of a creative nature on this planet all by yourself. Practically nothing. Now we're here to do it with other people and to find all the creative arcs that, that there are at all the levels of human experience to create the world in which we live, to manifest what we're here to manifest. 